This is like day 12 or 13th of my uh, uh, nasty treatment to my face. It's some kind of chemical peel. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it, uh, it's starting to really hurt. It feels like a pretty bad sunburn. Uh, yesterday, I put sunscreen on top of this. And I don't know if that had a, a negative effect or not because it uh, really hurt pretty much most of the day yesterday. Um, what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to kill precancerous cells or whatever. And um, you put it on and it's basically it's some kind of a chemical peel where it's like makes it, eventually this is all going to turn hard and, and just kind of scabby and peely and just be nasty. And I'm probably about another week or so away from that. It's a three-week treatment. And um, my dermatologist once suggested this. I had several spots frozen off or ripped off or cut off or whatever. And uh, so if they doesn't look all that good right through here, it's, this is the worst part. A couple over here and around the top. But anyway, this is just a reminder all you young kids that think you're invincible. You're really not. And, uh, you know, you should wear a lot of sunscreen and protect yourself from the sun. Now, I spent a lot of my youth surfing. And uh, I still surf, so it's not like I don't ever do anymore. But uh, I try to put sunscreen on before I go out. I try not to surf between 11 and 3, which is pretty much the worst part of the day for the sun. And uh, sometimes if it's small, I try to wear a hat and sunglasses. If it's big, you can't. It's too much trouble. And uh, I've tried many times and it flops down in your face and you can't see on the takeoff. And anyway, so my advice is to you is if you're a, a young surfer dude or whatever, do you think you're invincible? You're in your early 20s or or even your late teens. Uh, you're not invincible. It's coming for you. Even on your hand. I got I got the hand. I'm putting some on the, on the outside of my hands. And uh, I've already had some stuff cut off. I had some cut off on my nose. A uh, spot over here cut off, a uh, thing on my lip cut off. And just so you know, that little thing on my lip, I had after my insurance, whatever, I still had to pay $800 for this little cut on my lip. And then you, they send it off to somebody else and they examine it. And that's usually another a couple of hundred dollars. So I basically spent $1,000 on this little cut here. And it was, you know, it was probably quite a bit more because the insurance covered some of it. So if you guys are invincible, you better have a good job because eventually it's going to come for you. That's all I can say. I'm in my uh, mid-50s, and I actually wore a lot of zinc oxide on my nose growing up surfing. And, and even with all that, I still had a, a pretty nasty looking um, uh, nose. It was all cracked and whatever and just nasty. I used to always pick big chunks of, uh, of, um, of dead skin and stuff off of it all the time. But, but back then, I still put uh, zinc oxide on my nose almost every day. So my lesson to you, you guys are not invincible. It's coming for you. You just better start protecting yourself now so it won't be as bad. See you next time. This is day 12 and there'll be a couple more of these so you can see how it actually turns out.